No way! Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I've got my jump bike here, a spare set of wheels and four rolls of tape because this is the tape instead of tyres challenge. Let's get into it. So I just came up with this idea last night to wrap my rims in tape instead of tyres and see how well it performs. I actually thought that no one else had done it, had a quick look on YouTube and I saw that one other channel there had done it, but it's not going to stop the fun because I still want to try it and know how it actually works. So we're going to whip off these tyres, boom, there we go, second tyre off. It's now time to take off the wheels of the jump bike, easy. We need to swap disc. There we go, disc on. Let's get it fitted. Straight on, like an absolute glovish dream. Wheels are on. So I didn't actually watch the video that I saw on YouTube doing the same thing because I didn't want to know what happened. I just purely want to do this for absolute fun because I just love weird stuff. So hopefully we've got enough tape. We've got four rolls of 50 meters long with a bit of math. So we realized it will go around the wheel about 20 times. So 20 times coming up. So if Louis spins the wheel like this, we can just fire it on, look. Keep it going. Oh, there we go, cool. straight round. So that's one whole reel. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Oh my God, that's so good. For the back wheel, I think you can stand a bit on the seat and like pedal. Yes! No way! Oh, that's so fast, that's the best. Whoa, right, there we go, it's fitted. Look at that, wow, let's see if it's like heavy. <laughs> Whoa, it's so, wow, it's so heavy. Oh, right. Okay, I'm gonna get geared up and then we're gonna go and try this thing straight away with a few manuals over there, actually. We just come over here, actually, so we wanna try and ride down that car park. Oh my God, whoa! Let's try these manuals then, come on. That's weirdly nice. Oh my, oh my God, it is ma made, made for manualing. Oh, sounds so violent on those rims. So glad I used my old ones. Yeah. That is actually the best thing ever. Let's quickly go down that stair set of doom there. And then there's a skate park over there where we can try and do a few tricks before more, come on. This is a triple D, I didn't even know. Triple doomer, straight from the top, turn and down. There's not gonna be any grip. I might just hit straight into you, Louis. Triple dooms. Oh yeah, not even a foot down. This last one's gonna be a bit sketch because there's that barrier at the bottom. Yes! Tape tires are the best! Insane! Let's go to the skate park and have a look. Oh yeah, on our way to the skate park, I actually just forgot that I wanted to show you my new mods to the truck. I've lifted this beast now. We've got a three inch lift on it. I put on some tow mirrors just to make it look extra massive. You can actually also do that to make them wider. And I put on my cool plate on there, look. Well good, man. Love this thing. I just now need to get it matte blacked because I want to, I think I want it matte black. It will look well cool. I might just spray it myself. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's go to the skate park. We're now over at the skate park. They've got a super classic bowl in here. It's well fun. And it's a nice little test ground for tricks because you don't get much air time when you do fly outs, but you're still able to throw down some stuff. So let me just drop in and roll around and see if I don't just slide out straight away. Maybe get in there, Louis. 
I only do a straight on drop it in so it's definitely safe. Yeah, oh. Oh, that's so smooth. Not as fast as real tires, but. Oh, I'm like getting drifty. It's so weird. Oh yeah, that's all sliding. That's strange. Let me try a bar out of there quick. Oh, they spin so easy because the wheel's smaller. That's actually incredible. Bet it tail whips like a dream. Wow. Easy. Now I just want to do a little tuck the hander out. Oh, it's made for it. Oh, what about a stool, actually? Oh, it turns me. That's so weird. Oh, there I found the, the grip limit on concrete. Similar to the last trick, let's do a tuck air fakey. So you go up, do no hander, land backwards, and then try and fake, uh, revert back out to the regular direction, which is probably going to be quite hard with these tyres. Oh. Oh. Oh, no fakie out, but no, it was a fake. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm getting rattled. I didn't revert out, but clean landing. Sloams. Oh. That worked well good. No revert out, but quite nice to fake you all the way up the next wall and ride out. Let's get a bar spin air, get it in sloams, and then you'll be able to see like how funny this front wheel is. Oh, there we go then, clean bar spin, works super well. Apart from the lines on the rim here make you hold in weird positions when you ride, so you switch between both parts of the rim down and then single bits and it makes the steering a bit strange. But other than that, it feels amazing. Like It's definitely gonna take off very soon. Let's get out of here and try some more stuff. Just thought of a new challenge actually, hot bar. No. No. Wow, hot butt. Oh my God. Look at that triple D. Set of doom, quick. Triple D. Oh. oh, that sounds so bad on these rims. Lucky they're halos. I did see like a proper danger bomb me up there because you kind of land into a branch. Danger bomb me of doom. Oh, oh through the bush. Yes, let's carry on. We're just coming over to go to the jumps now. And I thought, hey, now it's lifted so high. Why not do a real bommy off the roof? Which actually I don't know if I really want to stand on and destroy. Oh, too late, destroyed. Oh, yes. Pure bommy. Let's go into the woods. Oh, actually, almost forgot the truck. <laughs> We've now come into the local woods. And we're going to try out this mini step up here. I haven't ridden this before, and I think it's going to be perfect test for these wheels on dirt before we then try the massive step up, which is going to require a lot of speed. So let's give this one a go, see what we can get done. Right, what I have noticed is this thing is so slow compared to normal. Oh. Wow, I don't actually know if the big one's going to work. That was so weird without a tyre, how slow a bike is. It's actually, wait, let me rephrase. It's so weird that I'd ride a bike without tyres. Tape grab. <laughs> Foof. Wow, that worked, at least. No foot can. Yes. Are these all worlds first whenever I do tricks? Because no one's weird enough to do this. Guinness World Records. Um, I find that no foot one-handers, they kind of make me laugh because it's like one of the first tricks that I learned. So I want to do a slow-mo one. Massive. Do it. Oh, 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 oh,
The good old three star. I was trying to reach to the sky. No, no, it's not the end. Come on, we're going over there. We're going to send it massive on this huge one. First send inbound. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, oh, oh. That's so insane how it's that much slower. That's super annoying. I need to flip that. We're going to have to try it on that tiny one. That's going to be such a yank. Let's see if we can get the speed for that then. I'm going to do another quick run up now, but with that run up, I'll do a tail whip just to add to the excitement and then we'll do a flip. Inbound. Oh, lovely tail whip. Yeah, I'm fully confident that that is the one for a flip. Tape wheels and a backflip. Let's make world records happen right now. Here we go, full speed. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, there we go. World's first backflip with tape as tyres. That actually works so well. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the speed over there. I would love to have sent some bigger bangers on the bigger jump, but it's just so strange how without a softer tyre on there, you go slower. Because I pump my tyres up as hard as possible to make me go faster, and now it's rock hard, it's actually slower, which is super strange. Anyway, we're now gonna move on. We're gonna get out of the woods, get into the daylight, and find some more fun to do on this ridiculous contraption. We've now come to the classic skate park because I feel that this metal is softer than concrete when one wants to try a flare with tape as a tire. If I, the only thing I'm really scared of is if I slide out with the front wheel because then I'll face plant, but let's try a few airs and see what it feels like, quick. I think it's all right. I reckon this is actually gonna go first go. Oh, oh my God, that was well, do you see? I think the impact it could hold. Like we had such a good video already, Louis, like, come on, Sam, do more, do more, always. Do a flare, do this, do a flip. It's like you don't like me or something. Let's try it then. It's so much harder to spin. <laughs> but you see what I mean? It's the smoothest, nicest landing when it goes wrong. <sighs> oh. oh, that was almost it, wasn't it? Wow. That was such a hard pull. That's ridiculous. Oh. Um. Did, uh, did someone break their wheel? <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's so annoying. I've just pulled off all this side part here because it was actually all like ripped and cut through anyway. So this rim is fully destroyed more than I thought because I'd just been smashing it into the concrete without even knowing. But basically what's happened is the spokes have come loose when I was riding it on the around because that rattling without a tire on literally destroys wheels and without the tire on when you land heavily sideways there's no give at all it's just pure rim and with the spokes undone i have actually completely destroyed it damn that challenge has ended rather abruptly but also a rather fitting time as the sun seems to have fallen below the horizon so on that bombshell of absolute fun, excitement, a new challenge, strange tyres and biking, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be awesome if you leave some comments and it would be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.